So, as you can see, we did a little bit of we? shop. Well, okay, I you were there. I uh, did a little bit of uh, shopping. I bought the things. Yes, uh, she uh, helped me pick out some Walmart bargain finds for Yu-Gi-Oh. As you can see, at least half of these are, you know, have that new low price sticker, which means they are old. discounted. Not necessarily <laughs> old, but discounted. Um, because Seven Battles of Legend isn't too old, but, uh, yeah, we found quite a bit. Uh, we got it all for around 85 bucks, so I'm hoping that we can at least get some good value out of it. Um, as you can see, we've got some Legendary Duelist Sisters of the Rose, which is so hard to find, at least for me. And so I'm glad, uh, that we found that, because I do run some rail, uh, in my deck, so that Super, uh, Dreadnought... Uh, the Lee Bay one. I don't know his full name. I keep forgetting it. But that one. Got some first edition Toon Chaos since you definitely don't see that anymore. And so I wanted to pick some of those up. Cybernetic Horizon. Kind of beat up pack. But we found that one. That's one I haven't opened yet. Uh, we got a special edition Invasion Vengeance. Which is pretty cool. Fine. Uh, that one was also discounted. So I mean for seven fifty eight, you get three packs. That's not bad. Oh, speaking of a good deal, you got this Structure Deck Power Code Link, which uh, has two cards in it, well, three cards that are $2 or more. Um, and actually, I have the uh, I have the thing here. Lady Debug is in this. for eight, It's going for around $8. Effect Veiler and Cyber Gadget is Commons. Those are both going for around $2. And these discounted ones, two out of the three were discounted. The discounted ones sell for $7.58. So one card in it is more expensive than the entire thing. So that's not a bad deal. So something to, something to look out for. Uh, Battles of Legend, Relentless Revenge, anytime that's on sale, got to pick some of those up. Some first edition Legendary Duelist Magical Hero. Those are hard to come by as well. And then we got some first edition uh, Battles of Legend, Heroes Revenge to open. So that's the introduction. We're going to open up all these in terms of taking them out of their blister packs. So we'll just have the packs. And then that'll be a little bit faster when we're undoing them. So uh, let's get to it. Okay, as you can see, uh, they are no longer in their imprisoning sleeves slash uh, blister packs, whatever you want to call them. Um, and we will get right to it. First, we will start with Legendary Duelist Magical Hero. So you can see on screen uh, some of the biggest chase cards out of here. Magician Soul is obviously the biggest one. That's a huge card for the Dark Magician archetype, and without it, it's not really competitively viable. So uh, that would be nice if we ever want to play Dark Magicians. First card we got, and there's no guaranteed hollows in here, from what I remember. So we've got Dark Magician Girl. If you're like that, you're perfect. All right, we got Wing Karibo. Yay! Jet Synchron, that's a big card. Yeah. Um, well, actually, it's banned. <laughs> that's it why is? it's a big card, yeah. Uh, Don't Know Buster and Anamata Pickup. So, no hollow in that one. Yeah, Dark Magician Girl is always nice. Yeah. Let's see what we got with these. All right. Ooh. We got Dark Magical Circle, Anamata Pyra. Halfway to Forever. It's like us. <laughs> Neo Space and Aqua Dolphin. Nice. I don't think we have that one, do we? We have, but I don't know if we have a playset, though. Well, no. So this would be good. And then the last one is Do 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 War, whatever the hell that name is. Do 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 Do. So no hollows, unfortunately, from that. Um, let's move to the next screen here. Cybernetic Horizon. That'll be the next one we open. So, uh, the huge one out of this one would be Boral Sword Dragon. That's a very good card to get. Don't you have that one? Did you open this? Did not, sir. This is the one that had the real busted pack. Oh, well, we might have been victims of Walmart's, uh... Wow. Theft. Yeah, it was, it was already opened, apparently. You saw how it opened, too. Like, yeah. it's not supposed to go like that. Was it sealed when you did it? Yeah, like, I, in fact, I remember... Well, here's the thing. I remember it being the worst one to open. Uh, well, I'm not expecting too much from this one, then. <laughs> Got some Gokies. Uh, Sim Templar. Circle of the World. Yeah, there's there's supposed to be a uh, hollow in here. Somebody got your hollow. Super glued it back together. Ah. Wow. You know what? I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that. Yeah, somebody just literally came through and cut yeah, that. Yeah, because yeah, you're supposed to get a hollow in these packs. I'm pretty sure. I can't tell you because I, I threw it all away. <laughs> all right. Next is Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge. Let's see if someone got a hold of these. 
Oh, den här, uh, it's... I think we're okay, maybe. Well, stop thinking that all of them are sus. I don't know, man. I play enough Among Us to know that everything is sus. All right, well, these are all hollows. Oh, we got a secret rare. So that's, um, yeah, so they did not get a hold of this one, I guess, since we got a secret rare. They are not all secret rares. <laughs> Phantom, what is this, Ogaroth the Relentless? Oh, there it is. Further down. Keep going. Yeah. Hey, these all these cards all look familiar. Yeah, I, it's somewhere over here. There he is. So $1.18. Which is not bad, since the pack was, you know, not that much money to begin with. So we got a secret rare, that's nice. Um, World Legacy Discovery. Actually, do you get a secret rare with every pack? I think you might, actually. Litmus Doom Ritual. That's a cool looking card. Noble Knight Brothers. Ooh. Ooh, Pumpkin Carriage. Oh, you went out of your way to get me that one. <laughs> well, you don't have Pumpkin Carriage, I don't think. I thought it, I don't know. Look, I've got so many. Yeah, so we got, we got those. Um, I think every pack has a secret rare, from what I remember, from Battles of Legend. Well, considering the fact that this has so many on yeah. this, yeah. I'm pretty sure they all have a secret rare. This one Seriously, has the like security this, tag this on it. entire, um, what is this called? Yeah, so we got Triggering Worm as the secret rare. Oh, that's well, ugly. Which, I mean, is, uh, looks like that's low on there as well. That's okay. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Maybe there's some good ultra rares. Uh, Alter Geist Manifestation. That's a good card to get. That's also really cool looking. Uh, Preparation of Rites is pretty good. That's a good ritual searcher. Hey, there's one of your Iron Knights. That one's a hollow too. Ah, uh, Neospatian Ooh! Air Hummingbird. Okay, we definitely don't have that one. Yes, we don't have it. Well, yeah, I don't know. No, think we call it an out. We don't have it. All right, so let's open Hero's Revenge next. This mouse. Okay. So yeah, those, these are some of the chase cards out here, especially Vision Hero, since uh, just eventually wants to build a hero deck. So that would be something good to get. Just toss that over there. Ooh, we've got Avendred Savior. We've got Fortune oh, Fairy Anne. That's me. <laughs> oh, we got one of the Vision Heroes. Vision Hero, Witch Rider. I don't know if that one's really included though. And then Dragon Necro, Nether Soul Dragon. Vision Hero, Minimum Ray. I think that one is incorporated in some hero decks. That's not a bad one to get. Let's see. Your Vision Hero <clears throat> is not. Oh, yeah. Vision Hero Vian, I remember, was. Uh, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Alright, next pack. Let's see, scroll up a little bit more. Uh, keep going. Yeah, we want the, yep, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh my god, we got Black Lester Soldier, Soldier of Chaos! Oh, by the way! Oh, by the way, this is a seven day dollar card. Oh my god. <laughs> You're not gonna wanna sell it, are you? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, well, uh, so we got screwed on the one Walmart pack, but this one's not too bad so you far. tell me what it is? What, oh, it's a it's a link three. Um, his effects are hits three monsters with different names. If this card was linked summon using a level seven or higher monster as material, your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. When this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can activate one of these three effects. It gains fifteen hundred attack. It can make a second attack during the battle phase of your next turn, or you can banish one card on the field. Nice. Uh, that is pretty nice. I'm happy about that. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, this paid for basically the whole thing, so. Yeah, actually, well, as long as you get it. Let's, uh, let's put that right there. Yeah, I think that'll, uh, that'll be a good place for it. All right. Oh, yeah, I keep checking the camera. Okay, this is more center. Uh, we got Spaceway Octo Bypass. Fortune Fairy who? I can't see it. Oh, so. Summon Limit's a good card. Uh, I didn't have any copies of this I was looking for, it, but yeah, neither player can summon more than two times per turn. Uh, I don't like and that. And then Fortune Fairy Sweet. This one is, um, this one is not a bad card, but you have to kind of get a little lucky uh, for summon, it. Summon limits $5. Yeah, so, 
Not too bad, if I do say so myself. I'm pretty happy with it, pulling a $70 card. Not every day. Yeah. Yeah, let me put this in the uh, non-destructive clear sleeve. Which one would you like to do? Oh, you still have one more Battles of Legend. Wow, we still have one more? Yeah, we still have one more. We pulled the pulled the pulled uh, that one, and uh, we still have one more. So, uh, yeah, Walmart's uh, sure we got screwed on one, but uh, we'll take that. This one has the uh, security tag on it. Yeah, that was interesting to find. <laughs> Ooh, Salaman Great Owl Mirage in Secret Rare. That's that, adorable. That one is pretty cool. I've, I've wanted, um, I have Salaman Great Owl Mirage. Yeah, that's a $6 card. Um, but I didn't have it in Secret Rare, so that is pretty cool. Do you want to sit on this side, or? No, I mean, either way, I can't see the camera. Ooh, Will the Salaman Great, that's not a bad one as well. TG Metal Skeleton. Mm. Guardian of Order. If you have two or more light monsters, you can special summon them from your hand. It's not too bad. And then Battle Wasp, pin the bullseye. <laughs> I don't know too much about the Battle Wasp archetype, but Will the Salaman Great's a pretty popular Salaman Great card. So pretty good Battles of Legend Heroes Revenge, I would say. Uh, Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos, right here. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, on to the next one. Invasion Vengeance. I thought that said Invasion Vegan. Now this one shouldn't have been tampered with. This is one of the special editions. That's why we have the uh, two promo cards with it here. Christian Ryan and Dystopia the Despondent. Um, so these should be good. I mean, they're a limited edition. This one feels a little heavy. Well, they have more cards. Well, yeah. You said that like every time. <laughs> Whoa, that's different. You're not supposed to open like that. Yeah. Uh, Christron Rosenix. That's cool. Aramis. Predator Plant Marae. Meteor Dragon Red Eyes Impact. Ooh. And then the Hollow would be after this. And we got Christron Amatrix. So the Christian arch archetype has been around for a little bit. Uh, most people know it now for um, healthy fibrax slash needle fiber, but it has been around for a little bit. All right, not bad. I feel like it's the evolved form of the crystal beasts. <laughs> Right, that's that's interesting that an ultra rare is the top one in this one. Uh, it must be very good for whatever uh, archetype that is. I'm, I'm, I apologize, I'm not familiar with Meteor Black Comet Dragon, but it must be competitively viable, that's why it's more expensive. I do know Totally Awesome, which is now at two copies. You also know Starving Then I'm Fusion Dragon. Yes, I do want a secret rare of that, that'd be cool since I use that. Ooh, Cyframe Multi-Threader. I don't think Gamma's in this set. Christian Impact, Flower Cardian Clover with Boar. <laughs> Interesting. Saber Reflection, and then our Hollow Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Okay, so, so you're about to become familiar with it. So that's uh, that's another thirty dollar card. So what's it do? Uh, one level 7 Red Eyes monster and one level 6 Dragon Time monster. That's very specific. Yeah. If this card's fusion summon, you can send one Red Eyes monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the original attack of that monster, if this card's sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can target one normal monster in your graveyard and special summon it. So you can send any Red Eyes monster to the graveyard. Or if you just send Red Eyes Black Dragon, then you can proceed to special summon it immediately after from your deck. But you're actually special summoning it from your graveyard, so you can't Ash Blossom it. Woo! But you could Ash Blossom the first effect. Anyway, it's a $30 card. It's going in a sleeve. Sleeve. Give me a clear sleeve. So, so far we've pulled about uh, $100 worth of stuff. And we just started. So... Just started. That's not too bad. I'm going to move Salamang right now, Mirage. It's a nice card, but uh, not one of the two highlights so far. Let's finish with this pack. Got some Chem Critters, Flower Cardian Maple with Deer, Ignite Unite, and then back to the beginning. Not too bad. One more. And then we still got one more Invasion Vengeance. So we've pulled two of the top cards from the sets. All right, Flower Cardian Clover with Boar. These names: uh, A Cell Recombination Device, Christron Smiger, 
Burnout. <laughs> That's a cool one. And then Pot of Acquisitiveness. It's a quick play, target three banished monsters, shuffle all three into the deck, then draw one card. That's, I mean, there's certain decks that can use this card, yeah. uh, for sure. Um, cards that ban, I mean, like, you could, um, you know, since you run the Grand Maju deck. But I have to know what it is to target it, don't I? That's true, right? So, since I they're think, all banished down. Yeah, you have to target them, yeah. They're banished face down, wouldn't work. Never mind. Okay. What's next? We I have know oh, how much that pop one is. Oh, pot of acquisitiveness. Yeah. Uh, it's two dollars. It's Just not bad. Because you know, usually like the pot of whatever. Is yeah. There's a, there's not too many bad pot cards. <laughs> All right. Now, let's take just a quick look at the structure deck. Um, we won't go too much into it. We already know what cards are in here. But, uh, got your cool little mat with it. I don't know what's actually on the mat here. Oh, okay. So you've got um, monsters that I should know what they are, but I forgot. I don't know, but that one's got code I think on Power it. Code Talker is one of them. That's probably a good bet. <laughs> All right. And then the structure deck. There's Power Code Talker. Oh, look at there! Found yeah. it. Um, Segmental Dragon, Sea Archiver, Flame Bufferlo, Lady Debug. This is the one. This is the $8 card out of the set. Um, so not bad. And then uh, Cyber's Gadget, that's another $2 card. Um, yeah, we can put this... Eh, actually, no. We won't put it in the sleeve right now. Uh, just going through some of the other cards in here. Goblin Bergs, that's not bad. When it's normal summon, you can special summon a level 4 monster from your hand. Uh, this is another two dollar card. A common effect failure looks really weird, but yeah, uh, nice. <laughs> that's not a bad one in this set. Cosmic Compass. And remember, we got three of these. Both two of them were on sale for seven fifty, and we've already got two cards in it that are worth that much. Forbidden Chalice. Now we have three more copies of Forbidden Chalice. Yeah, they're going in my deck this time. Yeah, you can have Forbidden Chalice now, or at least your copies of them. Um, but yeah, that's not bad. I mean, that's a pretty solid structure deck. Um, to buy. All right, let's move these to the side. All right, then up next we've got Tomb Chaos, first edition Tomb Chaos. I might add, uh, collector's rare would uh, definitely put this video over the top. I mean, we're already at a hundred dollars in value. Wow. Okay. Seriously. What? Yeah. Um, collector's rare, pretty nice, and you can only get them out of first edition packs. So, but I mean. With this being Walmart, I wouldn't be surprised if, uh... It happened one time! Hey, I'm just saying. I mean, I'm happy, though. We, we definitely made the money back. If you would have told me that all of these cards were worth $100 plus, dollars, we would have bought every Toon Chaos we saw. Because we saw, <laughs> like, three more after but, he picked up these three. And he was like, yeah. eh, it's fine. Well, the collector's rares are pretty hard to pull. It's not, not as rare as a Starlight, but... Called saturating our options. Mass Tiro Vapor. Oh yeah, all of them are rare. That was weird uh, how they did that. Code Generator. Chaos Zone. That's the, one of the field spells. Magician of Hope is our hollow in this one. Mass Tiro Goka. Black Luster Soldier. Sacred Soldier. Oh, Pot of Desires. Always very welcome in my deck. Yeah. And then back to the front. Put that to the side. It's a bad So obviously place. the collector's rares are going to be worth some money. I'm going to scroll down, see like what's after the collector's rares. <laughs> <laughs> There's your Because obviously rares. they're going to make, they're going to be worth some money. We're going to do that. All right. So you got some, oh yeah, the Infirm Noble Knights. Uh, this was like kind of the preview for it. Oh, Pot of Extravagance. I forgot about that. That would be a really nice one. Just... Well, there's the collector's rare and the ultra rare. Yes. Uh, I'm really happy with either of them. All right, Keeper of Dragon Magic, Cyframe Driver, that's not bad. Witch of the Black Forest and a rare. I don't think I have a rare of that. Ooh, I really wanted this one. Number 75, cool. Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. <laughs> His effect is very interesting. So you can exist summon him with two level three monsters. Once per turn, when an opponent's monster activates its effect, on a quick effect, you can detach two materials from this card, and that effect that they use um, becomes both players draw one card. So whatever effect they use, it's negated, and instead both players draw one card. I like that, though. 
Yeah, and then his other effect is you can target one other Xenus monster you control, attach this card to it as material. Oh, so um, you add, wow, yeah. you usually don't add material. So, that's not too bad. And code generator, ooh, Toon Worlds. That's Always cool. needed. Rare Toon World. Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the Ends. Now, it is just the rare edition of that, so. Oh, wow, Cyframe Gear. Oh, I thought it was up there. It's a dollar seven. Uh, wow, that's a sharp yeah. decline. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's always a cool card to have, Chaos Emperor Dragon. I don't even know if I have any. Last first edition Tomb Chaos here. Let's get this opened up. Light Pulsar Dragon and a rare. Curse of Dragon Fire. Gear Breed. Oops. Infernoble Knight Renaud. There you go. There's a $23 card. <laughs> nice. What are these packs, dude? All right. Um, we'll put that down for a second. Chaos Zone, Sangan, and Masked Hero Vapor. Okay. Um, I'm pretty happy so far. I don't know, like, do I sell these? Like, if I sell them to a shop, you only get 60% of the value, and that's store credit, otherwise you get 50%. So, I'm just gonna put these here. I don't know. Like, I mean, I could sell them on TCG Player. Ship them up. But then, like, I'm, I don't know, I'm afraid to, like, send stuff in the mail. Okay. One more. Y'all should have seen his face <laughs> when he saw the first Sisters of the Rose pack. Yeah, and then there was four of them, which means eight total. Now we're looking for, I mean, obviously the pull card, like the biggest pull card is Garden Rose Maiden. That's huge uh, nowadays with the Synchro uh, synchro decks. But that Super Dreadnought, Rail Cannon, Juggernaut, Live Bay, Lee Bay, however you want to say it, is the one I'm really looking for. Um, because that would go great in my Rail deck and I can rank up on it uh, out of um, Rail Cannon, Gustav Max. That one. Yeah. All right, first Sisters of the Road Rose pack. Now these aren't guaranteed to have a hollow. So these could have been weighed beforehand. Cyber Petite Angel, Luna Light Panther Dancer, Harpy's Hunting Ground, hmm. and Luna Light Yellow Mart. So no hollow in that. Like I said, I mean, we've already, I mean, you can see the cards that we've got. I mean, uh, we're doing okay. But it would be cool to get something out of these. All right, Luna Light Leo Dancer. Guide you. <laughs> it should be, you're not even looking at the camera. How do you know where it is? Triangle Ecstasy Spark. Snowplow Hustle Russell. <laughs> Blue Rose Dragon. Ooh. And do we have a hollow? No, Luna Light Emerald Bird. You keep putting these by the mouse, and that's not going to be good when you go to reach for the mouse. Well, then you can see them in the corner there. Let's move those. I don't really need to do too much with the mouse, so we will put those there. <sighs> All right, we got a nice collection of garbage. Cyber Angel Benton, first one out of this pack. Luna Light Perfume. Mark of the Rose. Oh, Super Express Bullet Train! There you go, that's an $11 card. That's a cool one. Uh, he cannot declare an attack unless you send two other cards you control to the graveyard. Okay. Uh, you can only use each of these effects of Super Express Bullet Train once per turn. Uh, his effects are, if all monsters you control are Earth Machines, you can special summon this card from your hand. Which is pretty good, 3,000 attack yeah, monster. Without uh, having actually, well, you still have to. Yeah, you still have to here. send two cards to the graveyard, which is not too bad in some decks. Um, during the end phase of this card is in the graveyard because it was sent through this turn, you can target one machine monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So, Does that mean you can target that one? Um, it says, except Super Express Bullet Train. Well, you didn't put that on there. Yeah, no, you just can't really see unless I tilt it. Dark Rose Fairy was the rare from that one. So let me, I'll get a little sleeve here. We are getting some pretty good value out of these. Well, that's my blue sleeve. Yeah, ignore that. He didn't do it, he promises. <laughs> All right.
So we got another Cyber Petite Angel. Luna Light Panther Dancer. Hmm. Harpy's Hunting Ground again. Witch of the Black Rose. And that means we don't have, yeah, the Hollow would be here if we had one. And then, yeah, Luna Light Emerald Bird. So it would be, the, it's the fourth one in the pack. So I'm only halfway done. And um, I mean, we almost paid for all the Sisters of the Rose packs with just that one. Hmm. Still looking for that Super Dreadnought, Dragonite Libe. Luna Light Blue Cat. Definitely getting the Luna Light cards. Blue Rose Dragon. Harpy Lady Phoenix Formation. Ooh, I, remember I think that, that was one. used in the anime. Yep. This would be the Hollow. Oh, we got Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. <laughs> All right. And then Dark Rose Fairy. I don't think that's a super rare. Okay, that's three dollars. I mean, yeah, we've definitely paid for the packs. This one feels really light. So no yeah, thing. not not having too much hope for that one. All right, Luna Light Cat Dancer, Machine Angel Ritual, Harpy Lady Sisters, nice. and yes, as I predicted, just the rare. Not too bad, my friends. Not too bad. We've got. Um, what is this, like, at least $130 worth of cards? I mean, you can't sell them for that if you sell them to a shop. You only get half the value, but... I don't know, man. I, I, it's tempting to keep the Black Luster Soldier one. I mean, like, these two, like, Meteor Black Comet, Black Luster Soldier, any, or any kind of extra deck monster, it's a lot more tempting to keep it because you only need one copy of it. Mm -hmm. But, like, you know, things that you need three copies of, that's a little bit more tempting to sell, just because I'm not going to go out and buy the other two copies unless I'm running that deck. So, I don't know. Very tempting. Well, we will see. Yeah. And for now. Yes. We will go put away all these cards. Yes. Sorry, we will. you will go put away all yeah, these I'll cards. Yeah, I'll put away all the cards. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Like I said, we got great value as well with the structure decks. So, like, I think we did pretty good. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah. We got some uh, pretty nice cards.